everybody, I'm back. I found a new screen recorder uh, called Microsoft Expression Encoder because Debut was putting some weird things in my registry that I didn't want. Um, so yeah, I've had a big hiatus from the tutorials and everything because my computer got crapped up and um, uh, it was the hard drives were failing, so I had to get new hard drives in it. But what I wanted to share here is my discovery of guides in Manga Studio. Um, yes, this is Manga Studio EX4 still. But thanks to guides, I have been able to do not only my comics in Manga Studio, but also the comic pre-production. And what I'm doing here is a full turnaround. Our guides in Manga Studio, they work very much like guides in Photoshop, if you're familiar with Photoshop. But the advantage here is you can have them in layers. There's a guide layer. So you can make guides. Um, I'll change, change it back to what you should see. Um, that's probably what your desktop should be like maybe a little bit different. Um, and I've got all the guides for the head in this one guide layer. Now you can make a guide layer by just going to new layer. Um, there's guide layer. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And they'll be shown uh, under your ruler layers in the guide section. So if you don't, if you can't see them, maybe this thing isn't expanded. But there they are. And now to make a guide, you have to have the page rulers visible. And in version 4, it's just under view, show page ruler. And then you get these rulers alongside of your document. And you have to have this object selector tool selected to create rulers. And to make a vertical ruler, we click anywhere along this horizontal ruler at the top. This makes vertical guides. And this vertical ruler here, you click on that and you make horizontal guides. Um, and still with the object selector tool, you can click on these guides and they turn red and you can move them around. And you can move them anywhere. And now I can probably hide the head ones so that you can see what I'm doing here. And yeah, so that's how you make and move guides. To delete guides, you right click on it, delete selected points, and you can get rid of them. Or you can just delete the whole guide layer. And I've just got my head guide layer left there. Um, just one note thing about these rulers here they will be set to whatever whatever like measurement your page is set to so if you set your page to inches I'll see if I can because I'm in a story I can actually change page format guide um, this units thing it actually dictates what your ruler measurements will be uh, so I've got it in centimetres now, you can have it in inches, millimetres, which is basically the same as centimetres, but smaller, or pixels, or points, or whatever. And just one thing to beware is, um, if you want to change that thing, you can only do it when you're in a story, you can't do it for an, if you've got like one page in your file. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to point out. Making guides, putting them in layers, being able to have some guides hidden while others are 
visible. And I thought that would that's really advantageous to know. So I hope you got something out of this. And I'll see you for the next tutorial.